All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another tutorial from me here with Strix D. Uh, today another tutorial for flashing lights, uh, map zoom, uh, sorry, map mods, I guess you could say. <laughs> so simply uh, what we're going to do is, let me just copy this. We go to downloads, we're going to get this a, I already have one obviously, but you want to get one from the maps, which is essentially what we're going to replace. So this is a base map game texture, so if you want to edit them and make them your way, like this version, this version, or this version, or how else you want to do it. So for now, I don't this map. Um, handy file is this. Uh, this is basically the location and the name of the map. So the grid map is the one where you press M and then you have the whole big ass map in your screen. The other one, the mini map, is the left bottom one. So what we're going to do is we'll place both of them. What you can do is simply replace both of them with this map and it will pop up correctly. Obviously it's going to be hard to read, <laughs> but I mean that's what you're going to get. So for now that's what I'm going to do. So obviously it says shared assets too, so you want to go in there. So you want to open asset bundle extractor, press file, open, then go to shared assets too. But it wants to open, there you go. Now it's gonna obviously prepare the list, and there you go. So now you have to start. You wanna go to UI mini map, which is somewhere up there. There you go. So these are the two ones you wanna get. So you need to watch out correctly, okay? So what you wanna do is it's this texture file, and I believe this is not from the one. UI minimap. I'm actually confused by this. Let me just export this real quick. Is that the one? If you never, if you're not sure which one it is. No, I just want to go on desktop. There you go. Okay, so that's the one. Okay, so this is the sprite, which I personally don't understand what the hell that is. So it's gonna be UI minimap, and it should be UI minimap two. Oh, mini map tool. There you go. So that's a little bit of a confusion. So you're gonna wanna go to M, M R N E. There you go. And there you got it. So that's also the. Let me just export this for you, so you can kind of see what's up. So if you export this, you can see which one, which map it is in game. Five. And there you go. So there you, you got that one, and you got this one. So you see the difference, this one is a grid map and this one not. So that's essentially what you can replace. You can replace them with any map file you make. Uh, they have both the exact same, uh, almost the exact same uh, size. So let's go ahead and replace them with the poster code map. We got from for mods. Press OK. There you go. And you want to go to UI underscore mini. You can just type it in actually and it will come up. So here you want to do the same, edit load minimap and there you go and that's literally all you have to do for the minimap you want to press ok you would like to see the changes put on here press save and that should do it now you can close this steam games steam steam apps come on flashing lights and you just simply drag and drop it in there. Before you do that, you might, you most of the time, you want to make a backup, which you can just do Ctrl C and Ctrl V in a folder or somewhere. It's up to you. Like, I just want to get like something like that. Nice. There you go. You got a copy. They got a backup in case this one is fucked. So for now, let's go ahead and try it out. Do it again, and there you go. It works. Press M, and there you get the beautiful map. You just downloaded off F4 mods. Also, as you can see, the left bottom map has changed. You can actually read over it pretty perfect, which is nice. Great mod creator, I'm not gonna lie. So now you can just say, hey, I'm at 116, can you use them in additional, or whatever you wanna do uh, for your workplace server, for your whatever. Which is, I think, a really nice addition. So 
yeah, that's basically what you can do. You can also, if you really want to, you can add more stuff to your map. You can uh, make the background black or you could name whatever you want to name it. You know, you could just add all the stuff to it. You can do a lot of things with that. But that's basically the map mods. Oh, I'm not going to get here today. Uh, so that's that. It's really easy. There's nothing big. Nothing big change to it. It's just another thing. Uh, I think I'm making an update on it, and now it should be all up to date. Um, let me just close this. Exit to the desktop. Uh, last thing I want to show is keep this always in your sights. This is where the updated and most up to date versions of the, the locations are from all the maps. In fact, if you go to useful information, it was, it was on the latest updates from every file location we know of for like police and fire and EMS. Uh, we are also going to make a whole post about all the audio files like radio clicks oh, excuse me, and like all the other stuff so keep this in mind uh, also the fact it's one of my uh, I ask questions a lot or I you know I'll always verify with it I take quotes from the discord server and put them in there so if you always need to I don't know search something up feel free to do it here so that's that. It's really easy. So other than that, if you have any questions, just feel free to go in the forums and ask for it. You can just ask your questions in here and they will be answered by the community or me or the staff team. And further, it's really easy. Uh, just drop a like and you know, subscribe if you want and have a very nice day.